A good 14 full minutes in on this program, and we have a lot to tell you, including all of us together watching Jorge learn <laughs> to crochet. Listen, it's that time of year. We're trying a new hobby. Oh, okay, good. That could be good for your health. Uh, you know, it could be good for you to relax. We're talking about the power of crocheting this afternoon and the benefits it can have for your mental health and well-being. Joining me now, Dr. Portia York uh, of uh, your Creative Education Group. Thank you for coming. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank All you. right, so, so I know, for example, my sister loves to crochet. A lot of people love to crochet, but I have to, I have to admit, it's a little daunting. It's a little, because it looks very, very difficult. It's very easy. But it's very easy, you say. It's very easy. How, 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 how do you get somebody like myself and explain, look, it's not that daunting. It's not that daunting. I've, I've taught many students, kids, adults, so it's very easy once I show you how to hold the hook, okay. hold the yarn. You can continue this scarf here because it's cold out. And you can yeah. wear it. What do you mean? You I know. made this. What are you talking <laughs> you about? I made this. <laughs> <laughs> now, but before we get into crocheting, dude, I got to ask this. What got you into crocheting? And you said, hey, I'm going to start doing this. I've been crocheting since I was about 10. Oh, wow. I learned at a summer camp, and I loved it so much, I continued to do it. Yeah. So now I have a business doing it. I teach it at university, teach Good students fun. doing it. So it's it's my passion. I touched on the mental health benefits of things because, look, we're looking into new year, new me, uh, kind of spend time for yourself. Uh, tell me a little bit about that zen-like uh, experience that you get when you do this. Yeah, absolutely. There is actual research that says that the uh, repetitive mo movement of crocheting sure. helps with with releasing serotonin from your brain. So that then lowers stress, makes you feel calmer. So there is definitely some research that says crocheting helps with mental health. Now what about if you get frustrated because you can't figure it out? You just got to okay. a quick deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> it is very true. In the beginning, you're very tense. Sure. And if you're new to it, you're very tense. But then once you get the motion down, sure. it becomes very relaxing. It's repetitive. It's relaxing. It's very soothing. So it works. All right. Works. So let's do With that said, let's do it. Show okay. me how to do this. Yes. First of all, what is this? This is your crochet hook here. Okay. This is your yarn here. All right. And you've the start of a scarf here that you've worked so hard on right. before the show. <laughs> and so now you would just put your hook back into the loop. Here. This hook right here? Yes. Okay. And you're basically going to then use this hook to mm -hmm. go into the stitch. Into the into stitch. The one right here. Oh, this one? Okay. Not yeah, that right, one. There. okay right there. You grab that yarn there that's right behind it. Just use that hook to grab it and pull it through that hole. This one? This yarn. Oh, here. this yep. yarn. Okay. Just pull it through that hole. Yep. Okay. Now, Ooh, okay. The, uh, step one's done. All now you right. wrap that hook around this yarn again. This, this yarn? This okay. yarn again. Like this? And then pull it through both of those stitches. Uh -oh. oh, I lost it. I you're lost it. Wait, wait, there. I'm coming there. I'm coming back. Your arm's there. I'm coming back. All right. Yep. Right. All right. There it is. There it is. You got it. In the hole. Grab that yarn. Uh, yep. Right. There we, now I got to pull you this Pull guy. that through both of those stitches. Oh, uh, see, it keeps running away from me. You got it. All right. Come on. Come with me. There you go. There it got is. Got him. You got it. <laughs> and then you just keep repeating that you just all do it the over way, and over, over and over. You see how it's so repetitive and it so is. soothing? So once you get the hang of it, it's just repetition. It's repetition, all yes. Right. Now, yes. you guys have a, you have a crochet and sip event. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so these crochet and sip events are basically gatherings with family, friends, colleagues, co-workers. They can be for children or adults. And you get together, you learn to crochet. I'm not doing it already. <laughs> you are. Yeah. You learn to crochet if you don't already know how right. to. And you make a keepsake. So you make these cute little keepsakes. It could be like a stick pin like I have oh, yeah. here, an ornament, a cup cozy. Perfect. They come in the kit here. And you basically learn how to do that. And then throughout the program, there's these fun trivia games. Oh, look at that. Crochet trivia games. So if you answer the question right, you get a gift. And that's the fun part about the crochet and sip. You can sip on whatever beverages you like, alcoholic or non. Right. And it's really a fun, a fun event to just schedule with friends and family. Camaraderie with good friends. Yeah. Uh, having a good time, having some fun, and then just making some great scarves and hats. Your information. You're doing great. Uh, look, I'm, I'm advancing. <laughs> I don't even have to look anymore. <laughs> Information's up on the board. Uh, go ahead and give them a follow to get all the information. Uh, Kristen, did you want a hat or did you want a <laughs> scarf? I would like to just have a private Private conversation with Portia <laughs> about what she can make because I fear that great. nothing you're going to do is going to keep me Listen, warm. Listen, I'm halfway through a scarf already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you both. That was good.